this is, this is super important. So I always said psychology over physiology. Mind directs the body. Very important. I talk about weightlifting, right? So if you go to the gym and your mind is telling you bench press, it's not telling whichever muscle is gonna do that. You're gonna just bench press. Squat, you're gonna squat. You're not gonna focus on what muscle does squatting or benching. So this is why I get the weightlifting out of the head. Mind is controlling the muscle. So you pick the exercise, if it's a bench press, right? You wanna contract the muscle. So if I contract the muscle, it's gonna lift my arms. So I'm gonna bench as a consequence of primary mover. I'm gonna contract as hard as I can. As I contract, my arms are gonna move forward. If I do the, uh, the curls, the same thing. I'm gonna not think of curling. I'm gonna think of squeezing the biceps. And when I contract the biceps, my arm is gonna move as a consequence. So mind is commanding a muscle, particular muscle to do the movement, not the whole body. This is the trick. And I, I want you to be master of it, mastermind to muscle contraction. I say bicep curls because everybody does bicep curls. Concentration, preacher curls. Do me a favor, do the preacher curl. And as you start from the top, right, you're gonna start lowering, but immediately forget about the movement. Now think only of the biceps controlling. At any point, you can stop, control. And then, what did I say? Not to just attention, maximum attention. You're gonna squeeze as hard as you can in a completely stretched position, then in completely shortened position. And then at the end, squeeze the muscle like he owes you money. This is kind of thing, right? So you wanna be completely in tune, and I promise you, three, four reps later, you're gonna feel exactly that muscle. So this is how you connect. And once you connect with the, every muscle, you can easily build it.